I first remember Om Seti, I came to the temple through the village and she descended through the village on a donkey and we had a marvellous meeting in the middle of this street and she welcomed me and from then on I saw her regularly. No, I was just simply standing in front of the rest house. Yes, and it, you fell over? The ground sort of crumbled and down I went. Oh. I mean, I only fell my own height. Yes. And you broke your leg. <laughs> there are many more tourists here now than a year ago. Oh, Lord. Um, well, I think they are increasing. They come from Luxor now, as well as from the cruise boats. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, and then, of course, there are some, uh, what you might call, private enterprises. Yes. <laughs> We even have stalwart young gentlemen who come on motorbikes. Good heavens. With all their belongings on the luggage rack at the back. Motorbike there, Kali. Yeah. Well, you've made it. How do you feel now you've arrived back oh, after so many months? months? What are your feelings about it? Indescribable. You're not committed to anything, you know. <laughs> How do you feel now you're in the temple? Again? I feel wonderful and so grateful. I was beginning to think I'd never see it again in this life. Yes. I'll see it in the next one. Then. This temple is really seven temples in one. Yes, yes. Why do you think they, they included seven chapels? I've often wondered about that. And it may be because this was a place of pilgrimage. So people coming from all over Egypt, you see, would find their local important God worship yes. here. Another thing, it may be the idea that the gods themselves were coming to Abydos on pilgrimage to Osiris. This is one of the most beautiful reliefs, I think, in this part of the, the temple. Well, art uh, experts say it's the finest bar relief in the whole of Egypt. It's really very fine. What, what can you tell us about the scene? Well, of course, it's Osiris seated, and in front of him are the goddesses. Mart, goddess of truth and justice, and then Renpet, goddess of the year. And the inscription between them and Osiris, it says, adoration four times by the goddesses. Then behind Osiris is his wife Isis, and then Amentet, goddess of the West, and behind her, the goddess Nephthys sister of Osiris and Isis, who, of course, with the custom, they were brother and sister as well as husband and wife. Yes. That was a custom. Good one, it did away with the mother-in-law. <laughs> and underneath here we have the... the oh, these are the gods of the Nile. And on their heads are the standards of the different gnomes or districts through which the Nile flowed. 
And the scenes on this wall, I think, all move in the direction of the sanctuary. Yes, the, whole... the king or the living person is always moving inwards. Yes. And the gods or the dead are moving out, because it applies also to tombs. Yes. <laughs> well, here we are at the famous king list in the gallery of the lists. What can you tell us about this scene here? Well, of course, I mean, this is really, from an uh, archaeologist's point of view, the most important part of the temple. Uh, the scene is Seti, and he is reciting the formula for offerings to his predecessors. And little Ramses, his son, who Seti made co-regent, is reading out from a papyrus when the kid was only ten years of age. There seemed to be a little trouble over the succession, and uh, said he wanted to settle it, you see. So he makes the kid co-regent, a general of the army, and provides him with wives and concubines, all at ten. Well, the list here begins up at the top with Mina. The prayer for the offerings is the horizontal line running right up on the top. That's what Seti is supposed to be reciting. This is the Hatip And then he starts off with Mina, goes through the kings of the Archaic, the uh, Old Kingdom, one or two odds and ends from the 6th and 7th dynasties, all right on down to his own accession. Of course, nobody has ever written a real history of Seti, but from the bits published here and there, and his various inscriptions and all that, he was a very nice kind man. Yes. And a jolly good ruler. Yes. He revered his father.